So it also just means that we'll have to switch to a square bale trailer rather than um, what we had before. Which is fine because if we are going to do a bit of baling, which I think we will, this is going to be far better, a far better option to speed up the baling process. Hey guys, welcome back to AF Farms and welcome back to another episode of Riverbend Springs. So, carrying on from last episode, I was in the middle of recording an episode um, and we had a game crash. So, I mean, such is life with the day one version of the game. So, we've purchased this, or we leased this forklift to make a bit of room for our uh, productions at the sawmill here. So, we're going to quickly move those. We should have. If I'm not mistaken, some really complicated hay tedding going on. Our combine's working quite well, so we've got the canola up. We've already gotten our wheat up. We've still got another lot of wheat in field two, I believe it is. And we should have some wood beams spawn any second now. And we can finish off our little uh, building project that we start with pretty much straight ahead over there so we'll see how that goes and then we want to top up this um, production point so obviously the game saved before it crashed which was good but I did lose the footage that I recorded so not the end of the world but a few little quirks with the game so far um, all right so how are our still got no meadow grass in that meadow that's got to be a bug I'm sure and I also noticed I put a tree in um, in the last little uh, section I was filming and um, it didn't appear to boost the capacity at all so I'm quite sure what that's about. I'm a little bit annoyed too some of my um, preferred equipment is not available so there's a mat now forklift which is like an all-terrain forklift but on the smaller side um, it is not available so you've got this guy which uh, I don't typically use or you've got the platinum expansion one which is which is fine but it's just bigger and more expensive but uh, I'm sure there'll be some additions to the game with mods and what have you okay there's our beams that's what I was looking for okay so let's put these guys just over here and we're going to start stockpiling these wood products. So we're going to use these for maybe some buildings initially. So if they don't require cement, we might actually just sell them. Because we do need to get our cash up. Because we're not really making any money at the moment. We're buying a lot of stuff. But uh, profit is not, not in strong supply at this point in time. So let's go and grab another tree. Well, that um, that, tedding pro that wind drying process that I've just set off over there is the most convoluted way of doing things um, let's grab let's try and grab this huge tree oh, actually it's probably not going to be because it's too big let's see if we can so I think there's going to need there's, there's going to need to be plenty of mini improvements um, for the game such as the chainsawing I've mentioned this so many times so far and I will continue to do so because I think it's just a little bit ridiculous how long it takes to cut a tree in half. I mean, if we're trying to be realistic, like you'd have a chainsaw that would be three, four times the size of this to even have a chance. Okay. And then there's no real easy way to quickly um, cancel out of your hand tools either. Okay, if we can just go attach. Now I can't quite afford the heavy equipment that I would prefer for these these jobs. And of course everything I purchase is in the way of everything else. Okay, this is one way to do it. Oh, now it's stuck in the bloody stump. Right, let's try this. Okay, so from here I'll just try and push it in the rest of the way. That appears to be the easiest way to do it. How do I disconnect? Disconnect from the winch. Okay, it's probably too big so far. All right, let's check in on our harvest. Okay, I've got a feeling our combine would be done. Okay, so let's go and unload. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and see if I can just dump that there. I'll go and dump this directly into the grain silo. I have to do without, like so. Cool. Um, right, I need to get some bailing underway. Now I think what I need to do is I need to figure out how to do this set up the worker a little bit more efficiently for a smaller field. I don't quite understand what that's about, but it wants to do everything in a sort of rectangular headland format rather than just a straight up and down, which would have been way easier with that machine. So I guess we'll see what happens. Okay, and then we're going to do some bailing in a sec, so let's jump back into this guy. Now this second wheat harvest, oh we've got some straw to pick up as well, so we'll go and do that. Alright, let's head on down to field number two and we'll get this wheat harvest underway so we should be able to cut pretty much straight across here and I'm just going to hire a worker straight up and see what they do. Okay, we're just going to drive on the crop to start with and I think we're going to drop straw here too, so okay, no we're not. This is definitely wheat isn't it, yeah. Uh, enable straw swath, hire that worker so we can at least sell this straw if we don't do anything else. Alright, now while that's happening let's see if we can get this construction project to uh, to work. Okay, so if we deliver the materials like so, that'll go through a period, well I don't know how long it's going to take, but God, some of these vehicles, they just need to be a bit more responsive on the accelerator. They're very slow. I mean, initial thoughts on the pallet physics, they're pretty good. Uh, and then we need, what was the other thing we needed? Just regular planks, I think. Oh, so slow. So I'm not sure if I'm going to use this wood for, the wood that I'm stockpiling for my own buildings, or if it's going to be for um, the big communal projects. Okay, so I reckon that'll, that'll come together shortly. Alright, next up we need to bale. So where's our baler? Okay, so let's do let's do our hay bales first because we've got already got some hay in there. So let's lower the pickup, turn that baler on. And we've got automatic drop on. Turn on automatic drop. Alright, so I'm gonna continue this bailing, I'll throw on a time lapse and then we'll come back in. So see you in a few minutes. We've been fighting forever. Gone over this a thousand times before Baby, it's now or never Gotta leave this town and I know what you're asking for leave that there for the, for the moment so I'm not going to bale anymore. Um, this baler is way too small so I think what we're going to do is we're going to, because I was thinking I was going to do silage but what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go and invest in a higher capacity baler. Um, something that I can do, something that will bale much more rapidly. So if we have a look at the baling options, wherever they are, um, so we've got rounds, they're a bit cheaper, so that'll do up to 150, that'll do up to 180, it's a stationary baler. Uh, this guy does, what speed does this bail at, 18 kph? Yeah, so I think one of these is going to be the way to go, that's, what I'm, that's my thoughts anyway. So let's go and switch out for one of these. So I'm just going to go on the cheaper end, 164, yeah, so this guy here, I think. Okay, so that's been leased. I want to find, where's the vehicle section? Just here. So we want to come down to our round baler, which we just, and we're going to return that. All right, so I'm going to send this guy over. Uh, set destination. 
over to the shop. Okay, so he's on his way. We need to empty our grain cart, so let's grab this guy. Alright, let's head on over to the field, get this guy emptied. And then we've got some bales to pick up as well. And then we've got to decide what we're going to do for the next run of crops. So I'm thinking we're just going to do all wheat. Because what I'm thinking we will do is... We'll get some chickens on the go. And we'll start stockpiling them. some chicken feed, I think. Okay, so that should, that should take care of itself. He's on the way to the shop. Our construction building should be underway. Yep, so that's gonna that's gonna work its way through the process. Might as well leave this guy there for the moment. Okay, let's um, jump into this guy. Go and grab our baler. So it also just means that we'll have to switch to a square bale trailer rather than um, what we had before. Which is fine because if we are going to do a bit of baling, which I think we will, this is going to be far better, a far better option to speed up the baling process. Alright, so let's get back to the farm. We'll get this guy unloaded and then we'll go from there. I'll see you over there. All right, here we are. So let's go. Let's get cracking on this straw. So let's go and lower the pickup, unfold baler. I'm gonna change the size. So we're on two twenty centimeter. Okay, we'll stick with two forty. So that's the biggest you can go. Um, turn on the baler. Let's see if we can grab this straw. All right. So I'll get to cracking with this bang, I'll throw on, another, throw on another time lapse and I'll see you in a few minutes. Enjoy the tunes. harvest is finished so let's so the harvest has done a pretty good job with the worker um, it doesn't look like there's any issues there Ooh, we're getting some strange uh, visual effects coming through don't know what that's about so we'll get this unloaded and we'll get this combine returned so we don't cop another fee nice okay where is it? Vehicles. Okay, so we want our John Deere. So we want to return that. And we want to return this guy. So let's go and get this unloaded. So 22,000 litres. Not too bad. Definitely feel the weight in it. Right, let's pipe out into our silo. So I don't know what capacity our silo has, but I mean, I'm assuming it's going to be reasonably big. At least for the early stages of the game. Might be a different story later on. Right, let's go get this parked up. So I want to get these round bales off the field. Um, and then we can return this round bale trailer. Alright, so... Let's get this guy into the operating position. I'll throw on another time lapse so I get this done, and then we'll come back in. So I'll see you in a few minutes. Alrighty, there we go. So let's get this. Let's get these guys into storage. So we'll just park them up here. Um, unload bales. All right, and that's our second lot of bales. So how we get there? Nine, ten looks like. Pretty close too. All right, let's get this bale trailer returned. So we've got to go through this silly vehicle menu. Okay, Innocent Group RBM 2000. Return that. 
Um, and then we're going to go finish up some bailing. So what we'll do is we'll leave that video there. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Uh, let me know how you're enjoying the game down below. If you've had any uh, experiences, any crashes, um, good and the bad, share it down below. Let us know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. And bye for now.